So everybody, I hope your day's going good. We had to get a different fridge, which unfortunately sucked. Um, but uh, our ice maker was dying a little bit on the whirlpool. And, uh, and we need the space. And, uh, we wanted the space. So this will become a, come our garage. Sorry, it's a mess. But this one will be our garage. This Frigidaire will be our garage fridge. And we went and picked up an LG. Uh, I don't know the model off the top of my head real quick. And, uh, but I'll have... Like the first one right here. Oh, so we got a, we got a brand new LG LFX S26973, I believe is what it is right here. Like I said, I'll find, I'll find it when I do the... 26973S. Yeah, yeah and the S is for the stainless steel. Yeah, for stainless steel. So, uh, note to self, the Frigidaire had uh, the handles off. As yes, I have this brand new fridge, and I'll probably take these off in the spring and uh, buff them with my buffer. Probably be like uh, polish the hell out of them, make them shiny like I would a bike. But I scratched it, my fault. But uh, so we're letting it get cold. So we'll just do a little open up. It doors open really smooth. Uh, lots of freaking room. How much cubic feet is this? So this is 26.2. Yeah. For us, the best part was there's dual ice maker. So there's an ice uh, maker down here, and there's an ice maker in here. And the really cool thing is that most French door refrigerators, their ice maker takes up shelf space. Ours does not. It is built into the door. Yep. Now, this isn't huge, which it was a downfall for people, but they're like, it's not really a downfall because the ice maker down here, and we can open that up again. Yep. It's actually pretty large of an ice tray. Yeah, right there. So uh, with COVID, uh, our school only allows the kids to have water bottles. And uh, so we've been, we bought the bottles and, you know, so we put ice in them every day and we just go through it. You know, there's seven of us, so we just go through ice like it's no tomorrow. And our so old fridge can't keep up with it, it. It cannot keep up. And some days, like, we, we, we think it was having a problem a little bit, but then it would work, but it never, it doesn't keep up. So the price was right. And uh, Melissa wanted this for her birthday. I tried to get her another coach, but she's like, I want a fridge. So. She wanted to get me a coffee maker. Oh, yeah, coffee maker too. Yep, <laughs> yep. Like, that'll come down the road. One of those quick espresso, multiple things, but we ain't there yet. So we, uh, you know, it's pretty crazy when you get old and appliance does what you need. <laughs> but, uh, but, yeah, so the, the space is pretty awesome. They said it takes about three hours to cool down, so we're going to go trick-or-treating in a little bit, do some big businesses, you know, it's weird with COVID, but then tonight we'll fill it up and uh, get going from there, and we'll, we'll get the other fridge outside, get rid of uh, Melissa's mom and dad, our, my in-laws, uh, we're going to give them the garage fridge, they got perfect space for it, and uh, so it'll work out. But this, we didn't want this, we wanted the dual ice maker, but you can see how the fridge is acting via Wi-Fi. We didn't get a TV. We didn't want any of that. We wanted the dual ice makers, but it well, has. This will just always do it, no matter if I have the Wi-Fi or not. But I mean, it, it communicates. Yeah. With so it. this does is Wi-Fi capability. So you do the ThinQ LG ThinQ app, then you can make sure it'll give you, I guess, alerts if you have an ice jam or whatever. Yeah. I didn't care about that, but the only way there was this model or a samsung that had the dual water or i mean the dual ice the samsung was a little bit bigger and i wanted that one but it has terrible terrible reviews yeah and even buying an extended warranty i didn't even want to get into the mess of it not working no it so we're stuck with the wi-fi part I just don't like more things that break. Well, we, um, we, we opted for extended warranty because you paid so much and, uh, and we, we don't say, care. LG, this is their linear that is covered for 10 years. Without an extended warranty. Without so extended. so we bought this for Best Buy and I think we got a, at least a three year warranty. I bought, yeah, I bought the extended And, warranty. you know, just because it's harsh, uh, you know, the with, with the environment we live in. Is that in a lot of fridges you have the shelf that like opens up that's usually where i keep my stick butter this is a bummer they don't have that in here but i think i mean these are pretty big we probably so put them I on this side put something on this side and get all of our like salad dressing and stuff in yeah here. milks and go there but we she hasn't set up so once we get home we'll dial yeah. it in but we think that's the size for milks but we get 15 milks at a pop yes. we drive 80 miles one way to do it because it's cheaper for us to go to a big box store so we hit a sam's club and so we uh, we go through milk. We go through 50 milks in less than two weeks, just because we're milkers. 
And uh, so this will be really awesome. That, so uh, then I will just have, with this, you can move your shelves. So I only move this one up because now with the big fridge, I can keep most of my mouths outside. I was really having to bounce off of both fridges. So hopefully this will be enough space and I, and I won't have to move this one. Um, but you can move them, which is nice. And it's yeah. mad because it's open. The door's open, so you have an alarm. I'm sure it'll beep at us if we left the ice, I, the, the freezer open. Yes, it will. And, and uh, they say to always make sure that this is sealed, which comes right out when you shut it. So Yeah. So the next one, I'll have it when we stack it full of stuff and see how neat it looks with, you know, seven people's worth of food inside the fridge and freezer and stuff. So, yeah, thanks, guys. Uh, hope you're all having a good day, and uh, talk to you soon. Talk to you later. Bye. Hey guys, so we did our video of originally bringing the new fridge in, the new, um, this is an LG, um, so now it's full, we've had it working for about 10 days, and so we'll just walk through, like, what we like about it and what we don't like, and realistically, like, our like is a lot longer than our not like, um, aspect. So, um, we have all our stuff in it, um. And the very first thing when I put this in, I don't have any milks in here today because we're working off the old fridge milk supply, but I usually keep about six in here um, at a time. But the first thing was that um, we we're like, holy cow, it's not cluttered. Like we can actually get the stuff without pulling out 11 things and then having to get to it, which was kind of nice. Um, we did have one of our drawers um, have a candy drawer, so that's why they have candy in a bag up here because we have both of the veggie drawers full and then um, lunch meat and cheese. I, the biggest downfall, so we bought it, we said for two, we wanted to have two um, ice makers. So the biggest downfall and plus, so normally when you have a fridge like this, your ice maker is going to sit here most of the time, which is going to take up space on your shelving. This one actually is behind the door, which is awesome because this is like space you don't use anyways, but the downfall to that is that this is small, like a small container for ice. So we use pretty big cups for our ice and it'll fill both of the cups and pretty much empty it. Um, not a huge downfall because there is a big ice tray down here um but it just does kind of suck for you know if you want to take it out of the fridge but and see it yells at you when it's open for too long but our shelf space is not hindered for using the ice maker so that's nice you can move the shelves so obviously i moved this one up so that our milk will fit here um we can fit milk in this one but we have juice in there right now Gatorade. um so um I try to get like 15 milks at one time, so I keep six in here and the rest outside. Um, usually, I haven't um, gone shopping yet this week, so the freezer. Um, so the freezer, John's birthday today. So he's Happy birthday, birthday, Johnny. <laughs> um, the only thing about the freezer, so this is the other ice maker, and as you can see, it holds quite a bit of ice. Now. I do um, every so often throw ice trays in here because like I said in the other video with our old fridge, we do ice like bottles um, for the kids every single day. And COVID so sucks. When it gets to four kids, um, the and filling their I we've got I got the whatever thermo whatever it is cup so it keeps their ice and their water cold, but I do fill it up so it stays all day. And so that eats up an, a lot of ice on it. But the one downfall to the, having a freezer like this is it's a lot like a chest freezer. I want, I do want to get like a small chest freezer to hold just like pizzas and um, frozen veggies and things like that. But um, yeah, you sort of kind of are going to have to dig to get to what you want. But we just keep stuff in here that is like open or that they use for breakfast every day. So really not a big deal. And obviously not a big deal because in the old fridges this setup we had, we would have been like, holy cow, where are we gonna fit this cake? So, at least the cake fit in there pretty nice. Um, fridge says that it's print proof. It is not 100% print proof. I mean, when you put your prints on it, 
if it shows up they do try to go away but as you can see there are print marks that kind of stick to the fridge um without disappearing and yeah you can kind of see them and they'll slowly start to fade but there are ones that you know don't but this is bigger than the one that we had um cubic feet wise and i mean it fits really nice in the spot that we put it when we designed the kitchen we wanted we had it in mind that the fridge would never have a spot that it was stuck in because fridges change and sizes change and we have been in so many houses <laughs> where you cannot fit anything but this tiny little fridge in there it sucks. and then we have to work it around that tiny little fridge and having a bigger fridge elsewhere so when we moved in here they actually were supposed to have cabinets up there the guy and screw that up they wanted to put a wall here and like a I don't even know what they call that, but it's part of the cabinet package. Just to make it look pretty. And I said, oh, heck no. <laughs> no, no. So if we ever, I'm hoping that this fridge lasts us 20 plus years. But if we ever do have to do something with this area, just like we did with this one, we weren't going to have an issue swapping the fridges in and out. Plus, leaving it open makes it really easy to get behind there or to do anything that you need to do to it. Um, but... This one has like an ice plus option that you can put on and it stays on for 24 hours and the ice plus is supposed to produce more ice. They say like, oh, if you're having a party or you're having this, you can do that and the ice will produce faster. We've ran that one time. I don't know. I wouldn't say that. Yeah, I saw a huge difference. Sure, there was more ice in there, but we already use a lot, so it was kind of like, I didn't see a huge difference. We were getting impatient being, we, we put this in on the 31st, and then school, I think the, it was in two days, so really, it, they said it takes at least 24 to 36 hours to really get to its levels, and we were already rushing, so Monday, I'm like, just push it on, let's see what happens for Tuesday, and so. Well, but we didn't put it on then. I did this just a couple days ago. Oh, I kept I bet. saying, let the fridge sit, let the fridge sit, let it get used to it, but we did end up putting it on faster than I wanted. I wanted to wait like a month before we really started playing with things to let the fridge, like, it's obviously gonna take 24 hours for even to start producing ice. It tells you in the manual that the fridge has to, the fridge and freezer have to get to 15 degrees before they will even think about producing ice. Um, so anytime, and that's the other thing, anytime you wanna do something. So if I come in here and I'm like, well, I want water, I'm gonna push this. It's like you have to push it twice. The, the grid needs to come on and then you can switch it to water. You can switch it to crushed, you can switch it to cubed. Um, anytime you open the fridge, you, you might have noticed this will come on. It'll tell you how cold the fridge is and how cold the freezer is. Um, it actually didn't take us as long as I thought it was going to take to get the fridge up to temp. I mean, it was like ready probably in two hours, um, which was nice. Um, it has a lock feature, which we've never used. Um, it will tell you if you need um, your filters to be replaced. The water filter, so it comes with one. It's it's not in there. You have to put it in. It was really easy. This just pulls down and then Brian put it on and twisted. Um, the other thing is that we did. Uh, so this is the, so the inverter, the linear, this particular LG covers the inverter for 10 year. No, lifetime. Was it, it was a lifetime? I don't know. There were some for 10 years. So that might've so been the be linear. Years, I'll have the link remember. to this fridge and we bought it from uh, Best Buy on there that's, too. That's what that is. So then on my phone, I have the LG ThinQ app here. And that is... Um, we didn't we didn't intend for Bluetooth. No, this model we, just had it. So, so it's we not didn't like want really anything to do with Wi-Fi. We were just looking for fridges that had two ice makers. So I had a Samsung picked out for, for the last, I don't know, six months that I really wanted. But it had terrible reviews. And then I went back to it because it was actually bigger than this one. And I was like, they changed the ice maker. That was the biggest thing. The top ice maker kept freezing up. It was causing all kinds of problems. And I'm like, I don't want that because we want the double ice maker. They changed the ice maker, but people were still giving it really bad reviews on the new model. Still saying they were having issues. And I just was like, even with buying an extended warranty, we want to have this long term, obviously. And so I just don't want to go into something that's already having issues. This particular fridge has really good reviews and no issues with that stuff. So I wasn't looking for something that had Wi-Fi, but it just came with this one. I was really mainly looking for the two ice makers and then the French door style. So right now, if you click here when you connect it, and it was pretty easy to connect, 
Um, it'll tell you just really your fridge stats, um, water filters good, all that. This is where you don't always have to come on here and do the, I actually turn the Ice Plus on on the app. And then I got a warning um, or like a message saying that it was done for the 24 hours. But if you go up here, there's different things. So you can see energy monitoring. And if you go into energy monitoring, it tells you how many times the fridge and free freezer have been opened in a certain amount of um, time. It does take, so now it's 3 o'clock and I have opened it a couple times to show you and it's saying between 3 and 4 it hasn't been opened. So it does take a little bit of time for this to update. And then... Um, if you go here to smart diagnosis and you get started, it will check the product. So we've actually had this issue a couple times. It keeps telling us our water is, water is not supplied smoothly, like the connection. So we've messed with the filter, it'll go away. And we mess with them. everything is connected the way it is. So sometimes I'll come on here and there'll be nothing. And then sometimes I come on here and this. I've been working a bunch right now, up. so I haven't sat out and researched it. Um, it's a quarter inch line in the back. So it, it, could, it could be our stuff because, you know, it, it could just be and throttled like down to too much. And you pull it out and finagle with it a yeah, little bit. So and then I, we got to get on that, that stuff. But at least it alerts you, telling there could possibly yeah. be something wrong. Um, so it hasn't given me any warnings, like, in just on my phone. Um, like just on the screen saying, hey, there's something where like when the ice plus was done, it was like a pop up on my phone that said, hey, this is done. So I'm guessing that that's just because it's not like a big giant issue with the fridge. Um, as other people have said, like if there's an ice jam or something, it tells your, your phone like, hey, this is. So because we have the Wi-Fi option, I just turned it on and figured why not. So I mean, other than that, we love it. And talk about it all the time. It's, we're like, this is great. This is definitely done what we wanted to do. We moved the old fridge outside, which has given us a huge amount of space outside. We had just this itty bitty little fridge um, outside, and it's given us a lot of room out there. And so the setup for how big our family is is a lot better. So I would, I mean, after 10 days, I mean, whatever, but like I would for sure recommend this fridge. They, it just, it yeah. looks nice, classy, but they, you know. We'll do a follow-up next year around uh, Halloween just to see what we like. But, you know, I'll put this together. You know, we were very pumped to get it. And like Melissa said, it's so amazing how much, you know, the other fridge wasn't crazy. But you were like, man, there's no freaking room in it. And this gave us one extra square foot. Yeah. And it made a night and day difference on this fridge. And it was like, yeah. holy mackerel, you know. It's like, what are you missing? You don't even know what you're missing yeah. until you yeah, get something so a little actually, different. Yeah, so I've I've been watching this for a long time and I kept telling him, I just want to get a new fridge. And he's like, eh, you know, because they're expensive. I mean, not going to lie about it. And, and then once we did it, we were like, we should have done it sooner. But yeah. one other thing I want to mention, if you look in, inside, I don't know if you can see it. There's actually a strip, this strip here, okay? They always say that you want to make sure that this is closed. It does not mean, because it's on this one, that this has to close all the time. So basically what's going to happen when you close this one is this is going to pop open and close to get that strip underneath it. But that is one thing that they say you want to make sure to get like a good close. Um, and when I first got it and I read that, I was like, oh goodness, how many times are the kids going to remember that this door has to go first? And then I realized that it will shut, it'll pop open this door and then close it on its own, like seal it on its own. Um, we have not had any issues at all. And the kids are very good about like the old fridge like slamming door the door and then the freezer pops open and doesn't close all the way and like leaving it um the old fridge alarmed us too but the garage the old old fridge in the garage did not alarm us so we had some issues with that being open luckily with this one so far they haven't there hasn't been any issues where um they shut something and a door didn't close and you heard it go off it will go off immediately it's actually a lot faster than our old one with being mad that the doors are open. So, yeah. Anyway, yeah. So, we are Th happy with it. Yeah, thanks for watching, everybody. Hope yep. your day's going good. I don't know if you can peek out those windows. It might be too blinding, but yeah, we're getting a little snow out here. Yeah. Hope you're all not. But uh, thanks, everybody. Talk to you later.